What's going on everybody? Today we're going to do the Travis Scott Jordan 1 unboxing, detailed review, and a comparison with another real pair to see how they hold up to the legit ones. So let's go ahead and get started. This is another pair coming from Kixie.com. Please go ahead and check them out. All the information is in the description bar below. Great people at Kixie. They have the best UA sneakers on the market, hands down. They're sent by DHL and the shoe box is actually bubble wrapped. Let's go ahead and open these bad boys and take a look here. So there goes the paper. I'm not sure how that compares to the original just yet, but we'll get to that a little later. There you go, there they are. Looking good, let's go ahead and pull them out. Again guys, these are UA sneakers, that means they're unauthorized. They're not fake sneakers, they're just not made in the exact same factories as Nike or Jordan brand but they're not fakes. Here's an example of what fake sneakers look like. Um, <laughs> and obviously these are not them. So again, guys, these are very high quality UAs. They're not just some fake sneakers. So let's move on. This pair is a US size 10 men's. Here's the back of the box. They retail for 175 US dollars. You can get them cheaper at about 165 on kixie.com. And if you apply my discount code, you can get them for even cheaper. So go ahead and check that out. On StockX in a men's size 10, they go from anywhere from $1,300 to $2,500. So if you got that money, go on ahead. Here's a quick look at them, but I'm gonna go a little bit more deeper when I compare a authorized size 10 and a half with these. And we'll look at some of the differences and see what's going on with them. But I'm, I'm very impressed from what I've seen so far. So here's the staging area that I'll be demonstrating some of the differences between the two. The UA pair is going to be on the left and on the right side is a pair that was actually purchased from Nike.com. Later on I'm going to do a very visual on feet type of b-roll thing um, but I've compiled a list from what I've been seeing on other YouTube videos and we're just going to we're just going to go through them compare the two for my little list and that's a wrap. And, and by the way, go ahead and give me a like, subscribe, you know what I'm saying? I'm working hard over here. So we'll go ahead and start with the box. The price tag on the box is flat on the box. And normally this little part kind of flips around. I'll show you another box in a second. But if they can get that right, poof, oh boy, they're, they're really close. Here is the authorized box. And you can see it's flippy. It's flipping. It's 175 US dollars. I've seen some of the UAs. They got a... 165 on there. I heard that Nike priced them that way in the beginning, but whatever, they're 175 and it's flipping. Here's what the paper looks like from the authorized box. I showed you the paper a minute ago from the UAs. It looks pretty similar, and I don't know if anybody's going to be checking your box for the paper, but hey, man, let me see your paper. And that little green sticker right there, it's kind of hard to film this. This little green sticker is on the UA box as well. They're just in different places. I checked both box lids for this little code that you can barely see on the Nike swoosh. It was nowhere to be found on both boxes, so it is what it is on that. Here's a look at both of the boxes side by side. There's not very many differences in the color of the boxes, but I did notice that the box on the left the UAs is a little smaller than the box on the right which are the quote-unquote authorized pair so just one little thing to keep in mind on that so let's go ahead and look at the embossed face on the back of the shoes I have no idea what that face is supposed to be I don't know if that's supposed to be like Travis Scott I have no idea but what you're looking at here is the quality of the stamp of the face and I noticed that the authorized pair, it's a, little, it's a little darker on the authorized pair than it is on the UA pair, but they're, they're both very, very detailed and they're stamped in there pretty good. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. And I suggest pausing the video whenever you can to kind of analyze a little deeper than this. Next, we'll take a look at the actual stitching quality. It's a little hard to show clearly on film. Um, but as you can see, starting with the authorized pair, those are stitched very tight. I look at the heel. Um, it's pretty clean. 
uh, throughout the video I'll, I'll give you different shots the best that I can of like the leather quality and some of the stitching looks good looks tight looks right again if you notice something that I don't see please feel free to drop it in the comments it will not hurt my feelings I really don't care let's go ahead and grab the UA pair the quality of the stitching here looks pretty good it doesn't look 100% like the authorized pair but these are details that are like next to impossible to spot just by like walking by and looking at somebody's stitching quality on their Travis Scott ones. I mean, it's 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 really hard to kind of <laughs> point that out on somebody. To me, the UAs look great, almost just as good as the authorized pair, if, if not a little better in some areas, but you gotta have them both together to really deeply analyze them. Let's move on to the tongue. I was told that the stitching, that bottom stitching there, should not be going into the cactus jack patch right there um, this is the authorized pair that i'm looking at and from what i'm seeing that stitching there we go see this is the authorized pair and it's on the patch so and i know these shoes aren't flawless they're you know they're made in the factory they're sort of handmade so there's going to be mistakes even on authorized pairs all right, here's some more light on it. I'm gonna start messing with my light to kind of give you guys the most detailed perspective that I can give you. So it's on the patch. I mean, it is what it is. So let's grab the uh, other pair and take a look at the tag on those. So on the UAs, there's a little bit of funny business down there, but it's nothing like the authorized pair. Let's look at the other shoe real quick. See on the UA pair, it's actually a little better. It, it kind of seems like it doesn't fully touch on the patch, but it's not actually touching the patch, so shout out to Kixie on that one. Here's a look at both of the tongues, just to give you an idea of the size and height of them. See if there's any differences, and they, they, look, they look pretty much the same. Look at the front of the toe boxes of both of them to see how those look as well. Again, pause if you need to. Starting with the authorized pair, let's look at the back of the label on the tongue. I've heard you gotta pay attention to the fonts on them and the boldness of the made in China, that sort of thing. Again, I'm not a certified legit checker, so you gotta kinda look at these and be your own judge. Let's look at the other shoe. Taking a peek here, now that I'm editing the video, I can actually see a little bit of difference in the font it does not look as bold and not as clean as far as the made in china that's not my camera that's how it actually looks but i mean who's going to be like let me look at the back of your tongue uh, and there's kids out there that'll do that but you know i'm grown let's take a look at the toe box leather kind of the grade and the softness and the tumbledness of it um this was a really close call. It was really hard for me to notice any differences in the quality of the, the white leather. It really looked really good. Let's go ahead and pick up another pair, or the UA pair. Get a focus, now look at that. I'm not sure if that looks more supple or not. You gotta be the judge. Look at the holes in the sneaker. I don't know. I don't know. There's there's the leather again. I mean, it's it's so close. It's so close. Here's another detail. I was told that the black swoosh on the inside should actually be touching the mocha. This is the authorized pair. And as you can see, the black Nike swoosh is touching. Look at the quality of the stitching. Well, let's grab another one. And on the unauthorized pair it's touching as well it looks really good it looks pretty tight very detailed look at the stitching again around everything so they got that right uh, I mean point something out if you see it point it out to me it looks good the outsole or the bottom is supposed to be a little worn that's the word in the streets it's not supposed to be very detailed and brand new looking it's supposed to be slightly worn 
And that's a little weird to me because after a couple of days of wearing either of these pairs, it's going to be worn. So if you can kind of look at that there and see if one is newer looking than the other, I, I don't know. That's that's just what I've been seeing out there consistently. So go ahead and take your best look. Moving on to the actual baggies. As you can see on the authorized pair, the baggies are kind of small. And the laces are tucked in there pretty tight. The baggies aren't that big. On the UA pair, here's a look at the baggies. The pink one is a little bigger, I mean, but come on, guys. The laces, they're baggies. But trust me, I do understand if you're paying $15 to $2,000 for these sneakers and some of these things are off, I totally get it. Me, personally, I wouldn't pay over $175 for these sneakers, so... I mean, the baggies don't really make a difference. One thing I did notice, however, is the order of the baggies. They're, it's a different order from both of them. Looking at the authorized pair, it goes pink, red, white, brown. And on the UA pair, it goes pink, white, red, brown. So just something I kind of caught afterwards as I'm editing the video. I mean, that's a difference. So it is what it is. Take your looks. Make your judgments. Don't kill me. This is just for educational purposes. And by the way, shout out to Corey Ard for loaning me the 10 and a half authorized pair from Nike.com. He's a great guy. Here's kind of a weird one, but I guess it counts when you're looking at this stuff. They're supposed to be like a little number or a code underneath the back tab here as you can see I didn't find it on the authorized pair at all it wasn't on the right or the left of the authorized ten and a half see it's not there I, I can't find it and I actually didn't think it exists until I made my way over to the UA pair and it was actually on the left sneaker see it's there I was a little surprised. I don't know what that little code is, but yeah. And I know my thumbnail's trash, and I'm not talking about the one I used for the picture of the video either. <laughs> All right, let's move along. This is the inside tag of the unauthorized. They're saying out there that you got to pay attention to the actual quality of the big reverse Nike check on them. Here's the authorized pair. I don't know how that lines up for you guys. To me, it looks great. I mean, it's the authorized pair. Of course, it looks great. But not really, because they make mistakes, too. There's the other side, just to get a detailed look at that. I mean, the checks look good to me. This is still the authorized pair. You be the judge. This is the unauthorized pair. I'm trying to put some more light on it so you can see the grain, the textures of it. There we go. I mean, that one to me looks a little better because it doesn't have that little notch that the authorized has. There's like a little notch of black leather on it. Um, there's also the cactus jack that you can see. That's the that's how it looks on the unauthorized pair. The cactus jack on there. So that's that's super hard to film, by the way. But you know, there you go. Let's go back to the authorized pair and take a look at the cactus jack on that one. Pay attention to the C, where the placement is on the stitching. To me, on the authorized pair, you can see the cactus jack a little bit more, and it pops a little bit more, but that is incredibly hard to spot. Come on. There we go. There's a quick little look at the Cactus Jack on them, if you could see them. That little mark above the C's, those are definitely in different places. I don't know if I'm comparing the wrong foots, but... And I'm not sure if it's my lighting, but again, on the authorized pair, the Cactus Jack is... Oh man, it's popping a little bit more. I'm just going to have to give it to the authorized pair on this one. Take a look at the S down there, like the tip of the S compared 
And look at the curb of the S too, actually, now that I'm looking at this again. It's a little different. You know. It is what it is. Let's keep moving. These are the insoles of the authorized. You got Nike Air on the left foot. There's the Cactus Jack on the right foot. That's the authorized pair. That's what it looks like. Here's the UA comparison, starting with the right foot. You got the Cactus Jack in there. I'm not gonna go too deep on how that looks. The other foot, and to me that really doesn't matter because if you're gonna wear these, which I am, that insole part's gonna go away over time anyway. So, wanted to show you guys the actual toe box differences from the same foot. So that's both of the rights. And the one on the right, the authorized pair, does look more rounded from what I can tell. Here's the authorized 10 and a half tag. Just wanna make sure you guys can see that. Not sure the differences, you point them out. I'm trying to give you sneaker heads a view of the toe box again from the front. And there are some differences. These shoes are not stuffed either. They don't have a shoe horn or any paper in them. So go ahead and deeply analyze that there. I do see some differences between the two. You be the judge. You know, that one looks a little bit more pointed, more uniform. There's some differences there on the authorized. Okay, so I'm pretty much done with the in-depth comparison of the authorized and unauthorized. Now I get to actually wear these things. Um, they feel like any other Jordan one that you have. Um, kind of give you my final thoughts on these as well i think the pair that i received from kixie is more than an exceptional pair or an unauthorized pair i actually found more positives and things that were more accurate on the unauthorized pair and i'm gonna wear them i'm gonna crease them i'm gonna walk around with them if someone were to ask me where i got them i'm definitely gonna tell them the truth uh well yeah, but uh, they did a great job. Kicks, you guys did a great job. This speaks volumes to some of your other products. Um, I did get a pair of black Yeezys from them, and they were on point as well. But these, I know they're the most, you know, picked apart shoe to try to verify the authenticity of them because of the demand and hype of them. But they knocked it out of the park on these. I would say if you already have a quote unquote legit pair of these, you can even buy these just to wear out in the streets so you don't have to mess up your authorized pair. I mean, if you want to do that. But me personally, um, I'll be wearing these with no problem. It makes no difference to me. I, I, I have plenty of Air Jordan 1s. This is my first pair of UAs, and I'm glad it's actually the Travis Scott's because there's no way I'm paying over a grand for these. So like and subscribe if you haven't already till the next time peace love and light